Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Norwalk, and now, Pastor Stewart. Well, I want to start in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 17. Acts chapter 17, and in verse 6, there is something that is said that I want us to take note of. It says, but when they did not find them, they dragged Jason and some brethren to the rulers of the city crying out, these who have turned the world upside down have come here too. And this is talking about the Apostle Paul and those that were with him, Paul and Silas, uh, the men that were with Paul and his company, they were accused of turning the world upside down. So what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, and we're going to lead right into men of substance, but we're going to talk about men, men that have the power to turn the world upside down. Men, these men possess the power to turn the world up side down. Now, when you think about that, you think about this uh, in a negative sense. Uh, they drag Jason before the court, before the rulers of the city, and what they said was very negative. These people have turned the world upside down. Now, the problem is the world was already uh, wrong side up, so what they did was turn the world right side up. So they really turned it upside down was a good thing because they turned it right side up. This world right now is wrong side up. It calls good uh, evil, and evil is called good. Now, these men, Paul and Silas, these men uh, came, and everywhere they went, not just Paul and Silas, but the 12 apostles, uh, Peter, James, John, and others, when they went into a place, they didn't just go in and the place remained the same. When they got into a place, they were able to turn it upside down or right side up since it was wrong side up. Now, many times, many times we say that people rub us the wrong way. And we say that that's a matter of speech. That's what we do uh, to say that uh, you put me in a bad mood, uh, you disturbed me, you caused me to get upset. Well, many times people are not rubbing us the wrong way. They're actually trying to rub us the right way. And we're going to talk about that too. Because in Jesus' time, they felt like he was a troublemaker. They felt like he was going against the grain. But the one thing they didn't realize is that he was trying to get them back on course. Anytime wrong has been done wrong so long, when anything has been done the incorrect way for a long period of time, now, the next generation and the generation after that begin to feel as though uh, what they have been accustomed to all their lives is the right thing. And many times it is not. And that is the dilemma that Jesus faced, and not just Jesus, but also many of the men in the Bible that would turn or that turn their world upside down. Now, we're going to talk about this for this week because if we need anything in this country or anything in the world, we need men of substance, men that have substance within them to turn the world upside down. Now, we're going to make an incredible distinction between the gifts of the Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit. Don't you think about that. The gifts of the Spirit or just natural talent, natural ability, and the fruit of the Spirit. It takes the fruit of the Spirit to turn the world upside down. Uh, the gifts and natural ability and natural talent will not do it. Will not do it. But it is the fruit 
of the Spirit. It's not by power. It's not by might, the Lord said, but it is by my Spirit. All right. So we're going to talk about that. It's going to be an exciting week right after Father's Day, uh, and we're going to deal with that. So uh, in Acts chapter 17, Acts chapter 17, I read you verse 6, but there are so many things that happened before verse 6. So many things that happened before verse 6 that we need to study, that we need to understand. And I hope over the next three, four weeks, as we talk about men of substance, men who turn their world upside down, or I like to say right side up. And that even goes as far as Moses, because even Moses was able to turn uh, his world. He turned it right side up. So there's some things that we need to see and understand so that we just won't uh, have a message that makes us feel good. And when we finish, it, it, it'll be said that uh, this is something that we need to do, but how do you do it? So what we plan to do over the next few weeks as we talk about uh, men of substance and men who turn their world upside down, we want to talk about how we can become these type of men, these type of fathers, uh, sons, grandfathers, uncles, nephews. We want to talk about those steps, and there are steps that will help us to become men of substance. And with the substance that we have within us, it will enable us to turn our world upside down enable us to step into a situation and change the whole situation. So I read you verse 6. I want to go back and start at the beginning of the chapter and and start with what happened. You know, when we hear this, they turn the world upside down. This is, this is a negative connotation. This is not a compliment because they're saying they messed up our world. Now, that's what they're saying. They messed up our world. Now, the assumption is that the world was correct, that the world was on the right course, and it wasn't. In Acts chapter 17, verse 2, it says, Then Paul, as his custom was, went into them, and for three Sabbaths reasoned with them from the Scriptures. Now, this is, this is the thing, and only the thing, that can turn the world upside down. I want you to hear me, and I want you to hear me clearly. Only only the power that is in the Word of God that can turn the world right side up, because it's wrong side up right now. But only the Word of God can do that. Why is that? Because when you look in the book of beginning, and as Genesis, where everything started, it is told us that everything was created by words, not just words, but God word. God spoke, and everything came into existence. And when everything came into existence, God said, it is good. So it was good. It was, it was right side up. It was the way that it's supposed to have been. But when Adam sinned, everything became upside down. So now, so now what had to happen was Jesus had to come to turn this thing back the right way. And that is a process and that's something that he is going to finish uh, shortly, the Lord Jesus. But I want you to see this since it took the word to create everything, to create everything the world and to create everything that is was it came from the word of god only the word of god has the power to turn the world right side up only the word has the power it was the word that created everything and that same word which is the word of god only it has the power to change people lives to turn the world 
right side up. Now, when we look at just this month alone that we have named for the last few years, Father Awareness, when we look at this month, we look at it, we begin to see some things that we need to understand. That when we see mothers trying to raise uh, children, single parents, uh, mothers trying to raise sons, mothers taking their sons and daughters to church and the father is absent. That is that is that is that is wrong side up. That is not what God ordained. That is not what God wanted. So we live in a culture and an environment where the world is wrong side up. So what God needs in these last days are men, men of substance that have the power to turn the world upside down. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501 501- Three two nine two zero five five. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart.